What is up guys, Digital Pioneer here, and today we're going to be talking about all the new stuff that's going to be coming in Crimson Doubles on February 13th. So stay tuned. All right, so the first thing is um, when I was doing my research on Reddit, there was actually a lot that was data mined. And this graphic that I have on the screen right now is one of them. So I kind of wanted to go through and analyze it and kind of report to you what I found related to what's on the screen. So first to start off, um, we can see the rose petals around the skull, which I believe suggests that there's either going to be A, new raid content, or B, that the prestige raid of Eater of Worlds will be available um, with this February update. Now, I don't know for fact. It may mean that there's also like some sort of quest challenge that you have to do in the raid for Crimson uh, Days, but I do not know. Um, moving on next, we can see that there's some loot boxes up there. So Tess will be selling Ingrams, and I'll cover more about how those are drop and what you can get from those later. So we'll move on from that. Um, now, Crimson Doubles will be returning. It is similar to the way Trials works, except um, the you know it's just two people. So when your teammate goes down, you will get a buff, and that's actually what's at the middle at the top of the screen. That buff is known as Heartbroken, and if it refers to the same buff in Destiny 1, then it will increase your recovery and probably increase your speed because that's what it did in Destiny um, when your teammate went down. Uh, moving on next, we can see that there's some new medals at the bottom. Uh, I'm assuming that those are just based upon the new uh, game type, so those not too special. And from what was data mined from um, Flavor Text, uh, there is a quest related to what Lord Shax will be giving you that requires you to go into the Crucible and things like that. And it also has uh, Tyra Karn involved in it. So I find that interesting that she has her involved, or that they have her involved. And uh, I think that that's related to the strike scoring because from uh, reading that this week at Bungie, they said that they will be bringing strike scoring into the game in a February update. Considering that Crimson Days will be coming out in February as well, we can expect that strike scoring will come with that, similar to the way it did with the Dawning in Destiny 1. Okay, so moving on to the rewards that you can actually get from Eververse, um, I want to talk about what's in these Crimson Day Ingrams or Crimson Ingrams, whatever they're going to be called. Um, one thing that I did note before this is that you will be able to get double Ingrams during the Crimson Days event. This means that you'll get a Crimson Ingram and a Osiris Ingram when you level up or when your XP bar fills up. So um, also going back to one of the things that's not on this page is the emotes. Um, on the previous page, I believe that there is a exotic draw heart emote. That's what that looks like. So just wanted to throw that one out there. But um, what Bungie did say is that completing nightfall strikes, raids, crucible, etc., will guarantee you an emote, a legendary emote, a legendary weapon skin, and an exotic sparrow. So this is the first time that we've actually seen Bungie put a reward as a like quest thing into the game so i'm really excited that they're kind of moving towards that i hope that it's not another empty promise but um we can at least be happy that that could happen um other than that there are five new exotic um, ornaments for the weapons there's one for the uh, telesto um, Graviton Lance, Sweet Business, Warcliffe Coil, and Merciless. So those are also shown on this page. I think the um, sparrows look really neat as well as the ghosts. So I'm excited for when this event rolls around. Hope you guys are too. So uh, I think that's about it. That's all I wanted to talk about and lay out there for you guys. If you like this video and like the news that I put out there, make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications to know when I go live. I'll be posting more Destiny 2 related content on the channel. Um, also, like this video if you thought it was helpful, gave you some information you may have not otherwise known. And uh, share this video with your friends so that they can know what to expect when Crimson Doubles comes out. And comment below what you liked about the video and what you're looking forward to getting yourself. And I think that's about it, Guardians. I will see you next time. Stay frosty. Thank you